abilities in the future. Kreia. You are to be commended for making it this far. Hmm. Well, that's a lot of fucking hours. <laughs> 1400 hours on one game. Jesus Christ. That's gotta be like since the day it came out on Steam. Um. What are you doing here? Revisited the dark moments of your past and now you must face the present. What do you mean? Your confusion is natural. The others and I will help you understand. The others? What others? Get away from her. She's a dark Jedi. Atten. Atten, I've had enough of your snipe contempt. <laughs> I will protect myself from this foul-mouthed ruffian. Hey, what's the commotion here? Stay out of this, Beodor. This is a personal dispute between Atten and myself. You're threatening Atten with a lightsaber, and I'm supposed to just stay out of it? No. Um, can I just say something? The three of you would challenge me? You sorely underestimate the power of the Force. Think again, Kreia. Your Whoa. dark influence will end. Your friends are all arrayed against me. Will you stand for this? Um... You've been manipulating me from the beginning. I can tell that much. You of all people would judge me so. Am I not worthy of redemption? Oh yeah, okay. I was watching Kiwi play at last play Skyrim last night. She was having some fun. She was saying how she wanted to add me make some new mods for it. Um I won't stop my companions. So you will do nothing. Apathy is death. Worse than death. Because at least a rotting corpse feeds the beasts and insects. Apathy is death. Apathy is death. Oh, be quiet, T3. You cannot. Apathy is death. Apathy is death. Statement. Apathy is death. Apathy is death. <laughs> Apathy is death. Apathy is death. Apathy. Is death. You're kind of losing the power of the word by saying it that much. Come on, kill Kreia. I know how these things work. HK's was the best. Apathy is death. I knew it. Once you kill Kreia, they all evade. like any such kind of thing like that and kill the original, they all fade. Now, on to what we think is the end of the tomb. Revan? But Revan's not dead! This isn't his tomb! Why are you here? What the f- Is that- is that supposed to be me? Oh shit it is! Oh, I love that outfit! Whoa, hold on. Shadowy Revan. Come on. No. What was I supposed to learn? Sometimes, 
a momentary insight is worth lifetimes of experience. You may not yet understand what you learned here. That wisdom will come in the future. I don't know. I feel this tomb changed me. You overestimate the power of the tomb. Any change you feel is coming from within yourself. Instinctually, you know your true path. Trust in your feelings. They will lead you in conquering the many challenges that the future holds for you. What do you know of the future? Surely you have felt what awaits. Events are shaping themselves about you, seeking to draw you into their center. I'm ready to leave. Search the room you are in. You should be able to unlock a passage that leads outside the tomb. Ludo Koresh, that's who was here, okay. I was gonna say, yeah, I keep forgetting who was in here, but now we know! The great Darth Ludo Koresh. Ooh! And with that, we finish this tomb of doom and gloom. Now becoming a full-on calling. We're getting to the end. <coughs> um, okay, so I want to talk to you. Well, I'm going to want to talk to you at some point. But you, I want to talk to you real quick. Um a common misconception not supported by facts. Revan did not intend to destroy the Republic. He deliberately left the infrastructure of many planets intact and many military production facilities. <sighs> I believe that by whatever means he used to build his armada, he recognized that it was somehow a limited source, or that he was only willing to use it to a point. My prediction is that whatever production facility was being employed, it carried a price that Revan perceived as detrimental to the goals of the Sith. And that is why Revan left many military production facilities in the Republic intact. Unlike Revan, Malik demonstrated no concern for the future of the Republic in his attacks. His strategies were painfully obvious, intending to crush all resistance everywhere. There was little thought beyond the complete destruction of anything that opposed him. He left quite a mess. I'm still trying to assess all the damage. Between the two, I would have preferred Revan of the galaxy. He had foresight in his conquest, a subtlety that Malak did not possess. Revan was a genius like that. That is also a mystery to me. I do not have any evidence upon which to build an answer. It is significant that after the defeat of Malak, the forces decreased considerably, and after Revan's departure from known space, production ceased completely. Huh. It is my prediction that whatever was producing such forces needed a strong, effective leader to ensure its stability. Without Revan or Malak, there was no such figure left among the Sith. As anxious as I am to give away all my... Uh, um... Do, 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 do. It has been assigned to guard and it is skilled in intimidation. In terror, for the most part, it will follow you. Okay. This unit comes with a droid scram. You, it's up in it. How droll. There we go. I am willing to indulge some of your questions. <clears throat> so, they are known qualities. I also use them on board my ship for defense. But that in itself means little. I assure you, I am as flesh and blood as you are. I simply find the personal meetings distasteful. Mm-hmm.
Let's see. It is so unfortunate when an intelligent sentient dies on Ashadar. It is also unfortunate that thousands die such deaths on the smuggler's moon every day. Right there. You just said organics. He said organics. And if I remember HK47, he hates that droids call people organics. Dodo's a full on droid. Oh my god, he's not even a person. Suspicious. I don't even like Goto, but I'm actually interested. I actually want to know his history. Um. Fucking slot oh, starter. Hmm. Alright, I don't need you any well, I do need you. I don't need you. <coughs> hmm. HK? Query, is there someone that you need killed, Master? No, um That's some questions though. Statement. Yes, it's voice printed. Okay. I'm gonna talk about the other HK units. What of them? Um. Why are they masquerading as protocol droids? This usually amounted to. So a good portion of your programming was adapted from protocol routines. said that out loud, did they? Confirmation. Oh, truly, you can imagine the results. Statement. This comment, of course, caused a civil war between the Guvandi Collective and Elzing that still persists to the current date. Jesus Christ. Answer. Yes, Master. Such incidents often spread outwards from their point of origin, much like an echo. Hmm. Why are they hiding masquerading as protocol? Answer. In the case of Braven Prime, the Civil War actually forced the Republic to back out of Guvanti's space and let their world fall from Republic control. As I understand it, that would be best. Keeping such a world would have been a token gesture of control. As an added burden, the resources needed to invest in diplomatic and trade relations would have far outweighed what would have been required. Besides, Master, quite frankly, the Guvandi and Elzing needed a good war. They were races that relied more on words than actions. 
Jews had a good brisk killing, woke them from their torpid state. <laughs> also, the result of the war will be that the drastically reduced Elsing population will eventually need to call upon the Republic for emergency relief. Huh. That's a good thing. Answer. The Republic stands to gain. The Republic will be able to supply such emergency relief at a fraction of the cost to the now reduced population. Of course, such aid would only come four or five years after the war was started. One would have to be patient and let death and destruction run its course. Huh, but why are they masquerading as protocol? Answer. Master. Being a meatbag, your answer does not surprise me. You see, part of the reason an assassin droid is so effective is because it is a droid. Meatbags tend not to notice us. We are treated as furnishings. Mockery. Droid, fetch this. Droid, translate that. Droid, clean out the trash compactor. These are typical duties, but it doesn't mean they should be treated as furniture. Part of the love of my function comes when the furnishings pull out Tabana powered rifles and point them at the owner's heads. <laughs> my identity as an assassin droid was unknown for quite some time, even during the recent events when all that trouble occurred amongst the Jedi. I'm sure you've already heard <clears throat> more than enough about it, so I will spare you the details. Actually, I'd like to know. Statement. This story may be somewhat unfamiliar to you, if not to history, so bear with me. There is a faction of meatbags called the Sith. They want what any rational meatbag would want. The power to assassinate anyone they choose at any time. In a startling turn of events, the Sith declared war on the Republic. The Republic wasn't going to stand for it, so they went to war right back. Um... Answer. Oh, who knows, Master? It is evident that the Republic would very much like to assassinate all the oh, Jedi, fuck. which is somewhat the equivalent of cultural suicides in some Sith or Jedi or were Jedi. It is much like the circumstance I find myself in now. How do you kill such an integral part of yourself over such ethical differences? Ooh, the good answer, question. Of course, is that you keep firing until all dissension has been eradicated. <laughs> ah, that's amazing. Recitation. Okay, yeah. Tell me. Um, never mind. Query. Um. Questions. Who was your previous master? Fuck. Um. Why'd you ask about the Mandalorian Wars? What do you mean? Statement. Um. Very human. Nah. I want the influence. Give me the influence of HK47. I want to have the history lesson of who his master was. I mean, we already know who his master was, but, you know. I would like to actually achieve it in-game. Anyway, how's everyone doing today? Hope everyone is having a good Thursday. I can't talk. I can't ask you Something anything. Uh, question. All right. Yeah. See, I can't really get anything from you because you're being stupid. Maybe if I can talk to Crayon, learn more shit. I can trigger some.